I think, I've been wearing question mark suits now for about 15 years. And, and it's the neatest thing I've ever done in my whole life. Yeah, I mean, you may think I'm an asshole or whatever, but I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, really, I get free upgrades on the airlines. You know, I get free coffee. Pretty girls come up and talk to me for the first time in my life. Yeah, you know, where were they 30 years ago when, when that really meant something? You know? But, it, but the suit really came from uh, evolution, man. I mean, I, I got, you know, back in the 70s, I got an MBA in computer science. This is, you know, back in punch cards. You saw this th thing earlier about punch cards. I used to write code on punch cards, you know. And I even had a software company that failed. I had another company that failed. Man, and all I wanted was a successful company. I wanted to be successful at something, please God, you know. And, but my biggest fear was failure. You know, and then when my first two businesses failed, what I found out is nobody cares if I fail. I used to think if I fail, man, I'd have a big F on my forehead walking down the street and everybody would go, oh, there goes Let's go that failure, you know. <laughs> nobody cares. We're all so involved in their own life. They don't really care what happens to you, you know. And that was so liberating. And what really I found at that time was that I didn't have fun with my first two businesses. I was doing, like I've told, most of you people are in school, right? They're all telling you, do this for success. You want to be successful? Do this. You, know, you want to do that? You know, do this. They're, they're telling you to success. Your parents say, don't do that. Do this. Don't do that. You know, they don't fucking know. Nobody knows. <laughs> they're all guessing. You know? and, and so the third time, I said, God, I was doing it like I was told. Everybody told me how to do things, and, and, and I failed. So that was miserable life. I said, so, well, the third business I go, I'm at least going to have fun. Because then if I have fun, I win the first day. I don't have to wait for some goal at the end of five years or a million dollars at the 10 years or a gold watch after 30 years. Man, I'm having fun day one because I love doing it. <laughs> And then I don't care what happens in five years. Man. I'm getting up every day and just living my butt off. Can't wait to get up. Yeah? To me, that's what life really is about. You can find something that you want to do more than anything else that you'll do whether you get paid or not paid. I used to remember, I used to be a golfer as a kid. You know, I'd go out and play golf in the rain, 30 degrees weather, play, play 72 holes in the dark and everything. I'd go to work. I wanted a fancy office, right? I wanted to leave at five o'clock. I wanted to travel first class. Why, your whole life is what you're doing professionally and who you're loving personally. So to me, how are you gonna build a life that you can give as much as you possibly can before you die? I mean, I think that's what we're here for, right? Personally, to someone individually or family or lovers, friends, or whatever, and professionally, our talent. So how do you find out what your talent is? Because see, if you find what your talent is, what you're best at, then you can give that as much as you can. You can do that better than anybody else. You try to be like somebody else, they're going to do it better because they're born to do that. You've got to find in you What's special about the new? And, and nobody teaches us that. You know, at your age, they're teaching, well, this will sell. <laughs> well, Albert, you know, if you become this, this will sell. Well, yeah, maybe, and you'll figure it out maybe a little bit, and, and so be mediocre. Like, thank God my two businesses failed. I'd have a mediocre software company now. That wouldn't be me. Now I make millions of dollars acting like a crazy fool. Yeah. I love it. Every day, I can't wait to do it. I can't wait to get up, you know. And I'm 71 years old, man. And I, I don't see any more different for the next 20 years. I mean, I said, then you don't have to worry about retirement. You don't have to worry about anything. You're living from inside out, I call it. See, this, to me, the suit is me inside. This is what I'm inside. A lot of people think I'm an idiot. They don't want, I've been thrown out of conferences. I've been, <laughs> yeah, lost millions of dollars because they say, oh, that's not respecting. Man, but it's me inside. How do you take, see, what's inside you is special. We all have something very unique. And our trick is to find out what that is because you could give that better than anybody else can. And you'll enjoy doing it. You try to do something that somebody else says you should do or something like that because everybody else is doing it, you know, with a lot of money in that. 
shit, if you're not happy every day, what's the difference? Yeah. And if you find something that is really you, you think you're giving as much as you can every day of your life. What could be better than that? Win or lose, you're having fun. You already win. Because you're having fun every day. Who cares what <laughs> the end of a thing? You have to go to the bathroom? What? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Who cares what, what the goal is? You're doing it. And your loved ones sometimes are, are your worst enemies because <laughs> they want to protect you. You want to go out and do something that nobody else knows about or doesn't sound like a good idea? Don't do that. You're going to fail. All right? Oh, man, if you do anything, particularly at your age, everything you're going to do is new. You have to fail. There's no alternative. It's like learning to walk. Tell your parents, and they tell you, you don't do that, you're going to fail. Just say, say yes, I know, <laughs> and get rid of them. Or tell them, hey, when you started to walk at one year old, and you crawled on the floor, you know, like over to the, you know, uh, the coffee table and put your one little leg up and you fall on your butt and you try it again a hundred times. Now, if they said, don't do that, you're going to fail, you'd all be in wheelchairs today. You wouldn't have learned how to walk. So anything you do that's new, you have to fail. And now the biggest sin in life is that these people are telling you what to do. They don't know. No, the experts don't know. See, they have to be called experts, and they, they have to pretend they know. That's how they get a lot of money. See, because you don't know, right? People come to them, well, I don't know what the hell's going on. I, I don't know. This is why I wear the question marks, too. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm scared as hell. <laughs> and I hope people come out of the woodwork with that. People don't want me. That's good. You know, they think I'm an idiot or whatever. That's fine. We're saving each other a lot of time. You, you, th you think this is cool? I'm going to like you because this is me inside. You know? And I think if more people realize there's, we're all scared as hell and don't know what we're doing. And now how do we help each other get through this shit? <laughs> Together. Instead of, well, I know what you should do with your life. You know? God, they don't even know what to do with their own life. Everybody's struggling. You know, so what gives the audacity to any one person on this planet to tell another person how to live their life? I mean, that's sinful to me. That's one of the biggest sins. We all struggle every day. It's like, oh, you, you don't think about your life. You're so stupid. Here's what you should do. Ah, I know you're thinking about it all the time. You know? And that's why experts are hurtful in my mind because they take the power. They're not helping you solve your own problem, which you have to do. Your life is going to be different from everybody else's, and your struggle is to find out what it is. What could you give more than anybody else in the world? How do you dig down inside yourself to do that so you don't waste it? Because that's when you are attractive to other people or whatever. You're lovable then. You know, if you're, you're Mr. Know-it-all or Miss Know-it-all, <laughs> you're Miss Know-it-all. <laughs> yeah. And that's not attractive. That's not lovable. Why do we love little puppies? Because they don't know. And neither look helpful. And that's what we all are that. We all don't know. So how do we help each other through this mass of crap we all have to get through? <laughs> you know? and, and without helping. Instead, of we have to go to some guru, somebody who knows. They may or may not know. And God, and they just want to charge a lot of money because... The more they to convince you they know the answer. Look, at the smartest people in the world went to Wall Street and then crashed the whole world, financial world, you know, a couple of years back. Experts don't know anymore. A and I don't think they ever did, but it's more obvious now. And people in your generation know better. You're born with the tools. All the time you have to teach somebody like me or 40 years old or more, you know, how to do a text. <laughs> Yeah, and that's stupid. You know how to communicate better and use the tools in our society a lot better than anybody out there. So don't listen to old people telling you what to do. It's really going inside yourself and finding what it is. And don't worry about failure. You have to fail. Go out and fail. Because nobody knows what to do, and the only way you're going to find out is by failing and figuring it out. There's no shortcut to that. Well, and that, that's that's the fun part of life. It was easy. Everybody wants something easy. Now, why in the world do you want an easy life? I mean, that's just the stupidest thing I've ever... You want to play basketball against a five-year-old. You're going to win, right? 
oh boy, and that's going to get boring pretty fast. You want to grow as much as you possibly can every day. How do you do that? To me, it's finding what's special about you inside. See, nobody, and, 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 and that's hard. You have to go, because people are telling you what to do your whole lives already, you know? <laughs> so it's hard to do that. But a clue is, what's weird about you? Oh, I see right away. <laughs> Whatever is weird about you is somewhere to start, because that could be your special. Like me, I mean, I had ants in my pants ever I was thrown out of prep school and out of class most of the time. I just couldn't sit down. I thought my middle name in school was sit down. Sit down, let's go. Sit down, let's go. Yep. And when I, when I first doing TV shows, I used to do a lot of TV shows and infomercials. And stuff. My parents did not admit I was their kid because I'd like to act like a crazy fool. Um, they want me to act like, you know, Henry Kissinger or somebody, you know, and be very intelligent. And brain. Ah, nobody's going to listen to me. I'm going to tell you about government information, you know. That's boring enough. So what I didn't know, I mean, and I wish somebody in school said, take that ants in the pants, you know, and say, hey, let's go, that's a talent. You know, when I make millions of dollars off the talent. <laughs> but nobody, I, it was beaten out of me, you know. And that's what we, but in institutions, they don't have time to do that. So you got to do that work yourself. Find out what's inside of you so you can give that better than anybody else on the planet, and then you're happy every day doing it, and you don't have to worry about the success or, or whatever it is, because you're happy every day. You don't need a million dollars, you're doing what you want to do, and you're giving as much as you possibly can. Thank you. <laughs>